And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing as Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So we made it to this place here, which is basically an old camp. Uh, unfortunately, it uh, its flame clock is totally empty and our spare ether uh, canister is also empty. Fortunately, there is a source of ether right over here. Let me check. Are we checking? You think you're all that, do you? Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with uh, with some contention here before we can actually get there. I wanted to get an overclock buster on him, but uh, didn't work out quite so well. Also, there's like four dudes on us right now. That's not ideal. Break. Top it. Days. God dang it. I want... <laughs> I still want to get the overclock buster, but... You died too fast. Does uh, Zimli 2 actually kind of work like this as well? I mean, aside from the fact that we only have like a party of three. And our weapons definitely work differently in that game. We've pretty much cleaned out here. Let's go ether take a look channel. at this. This is an ether channel, no doubt about it. Let's collect it for later. I'll claim the ether here. Three full canisters, alright. Should be it. Moving forward, there will doubtless be a, there will doubtless be times when ether will prove indispensable. Let's gather it when we have a chance. Let's get back to the Feronis. Use the ether cylinder to try and reboot the motor assembly. Right. Throughout Ion, Ion, throughout Ionios. You'll find decrepit Ferranus hulks lying around. They can either they can be rebooted with the use of some ether cylinders. A rebooted Ferranus can manufacture items with with its fabricator. It will also have containers which conceal hard to get items, and can even be used at a rest spot. As a rest spot. Also, it's the enemy that died a little too fast. There's a shiny over there. Let's go get it. Hey, that's not your everyday jump. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Oh, 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 You're a lifesaver. Is this in my break? Oh, this is this. <laughs> what, Ionios? I mean, yeah, it, uh, I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Here you. Mud is really becoming a nuisance. <gasps> if we get the Feronis running, that's not gonna switch on the defenses, is it? I can confirm that they were damaged beyond repair. We'll be fine. Set. That's good. Let's use this. Guess it's time. Let's install an ether cylinder in the power compartment and get the Feronis moving. Need one, have three.
Reroute. Good move. Now I should be able to claim the contents of those containers. You may be able to claim more than those intestines. How do you reckon? That time. They're restoring power to the Pharaoh, so it would seem that we've brought the microfab back to life as well. So yes, I'd recommend checking the fabricator while we're out on our little salvaging stick. Time for a tea break. Eh. Oh down, you dummy. Anyway, let's open up these containers. Here's first. hoping for something special. Some gold Napon coins. Napon doll. Heavy weak gu heavy weak guard. Okay, sure. Some stones. White belt and wind like frame. Alright, let's see what we got here. Attack by 66%, which is currently equipped. Attacking higher level enemies. Interesting. Uh, what are my sorting options? Uh, sort by recommended. That seems like a good idea, honestly. And yeah, the uh the equipment screen has been extremely simplified in this game. But currently boosts agility by 20%. What else do we got? My fast data aggro does not reset but remains at 60%. This will upgrade by 32%. I'm going to hold on to that. Reduces aggro generated from healing errors by 20%. Let's go with that. We already have something good for you. And you have the attack stone. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go, actually. Rated at rank 15. What rank are we now? Because I think that's a different thing from level. I think. Was that it? We're rank. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're rank 10. There it is. It was staring me right in the face. So, let's see. I don't think you have anything that. Uh, you inflict blow down. That's not. What else do we? Lucien Gel attacking dazed enemies by 20%. That's become unblockable. Okay, let's give you that. That's Shadow Eye. Have's own aggro value. But it doesn't do any damage. 
Blue side regenerated. Dealt. We also have glow ring. Target lock. So that makes it so that enemies must attack you until that debuff goes away. Boost evasion reduces damage dealt by thirty. Boost evasion by thirty percent reduce damage dealt by fifteen. And I think I'm gonna leave it as that. My epic screen is what uh, inflicts days. What's these other two? The debuff accuracy down. Heals nearby allies with when arc hits to max of 100% healing power. Let's swap out group heal for vortex. Let's see, overfall is ether defense down. Stormy skies healing around user. Uh, hazy figures evasion up. What else do we got? Evasion down debuff and sleep debuff. I'll leave that as that. You're our toppler, that's absolutely gonna stay there. Uh, blue side regenerated by 70%. Do we need two of these? Locks enemy attacks while art is active. Reduce damage taken and dealt by 25%. And I've already lit the years. The skills. I really don't know how to feel about how simplified everything is. Like, I currently cannot do anything with skills. I just have to wait until I'm at rank 15. Uh, the arts, I don't seem to be able to level those up either. Accessories, I'm more okay with. It can be a little annoying having to like go through an entire set of, uh, of gear and trying to figure out what works best. Okay, let's go check out that fabricator. It's a microfab. And our probable fabricator, commonly installed in all of older pharmacists. For a price, we can make the things this pharmacist used to produce. Nifty little gadget, eh? Let's take this thing for a spin then. Each Furana's Hulk has a fabricator nearby, which can be used, which can be made to manufacture collectibles by spending G. They can be, they can make very rare and difficult to acquire items. They just spews items at us. Cool. Did we collect those? Found plenty of useful stuff here. There's more left behind than a dead hole. Couldn't detect any monster presence around the Veros part. Seems like we'll be safe then. I will rest here for the day. Ooh, I've still got energy left in the tank. I can take first watch. 
then our acting role really isn't. Me? Oh! What the? Me? Shil Shil is not no one of dubious origin. A full affiliation objective. Tell me quick. Chilchil is traveling trader pawn, not bound to any pawn or men. Saw light shining here, so took it upon itself to investigate so called hacks. Now, pawn vagrant, then. Ah, isn't it? Is there any way you guys aren't? Why well, have to call vagrant? That would show real lack of respect. You're not with Agnes or Kevis, right? How about itinerant, then? Suppose that's slightly better. Anyhow, any friend that she'll she'll meet soon turn to customer and vice versa. So what kinds of things do you sell? Oh, search hit gear and bonnet joker and all that jazz. She'll she'll deal in anything. And she'll she'll meet friends here is also fate. She'll she'll give good price, so please to buy lots. No worry about, the, about our finances. Right, especially since we won't be paid bounties from our colonies anymore. In that case, I used to sell any and all things of monetary value to Shil Shil. Oh, and it does it automatically. Alright, I'm done with that. Ooh. As you're doing business, you're not gonna buy a taste of sausages. She'll she'll only buy goods which can sell it, uh, which can sell on at high price. It's basic business sense. Ah, suddenly I feel like we got like we got ripped off. It's all right. I think both parties benefited here. I think we might. I think we might want to make it a habit of trading with no bond like this to earn money. Hey, friends feel like becoming regular customers? Heart of Shil Shil Soar! We'll be more than happy to buy from friends whenever and wherever. What do you mean, Lara? When friends find items, Shil Shil can confirm using Terminal and wire money right back. Shil Shil think friends not complain, yes, yes? Sounds good to me. Hmm. Dealing with independent Nopon uh, no has the benefit of being untraceable by a phone call. Shall I make transactions with you? Then it decided, from today on, Shil Shil count friends among own patrons. Shil Shil will abide here for some time. If friends need anything, please to holler. We will, thanks! Oh, that's one difficulty taken care of. Yes, indeed. Shell shell. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Time we finally got some rest. Alright. We got 5 SP. Uncertain what that is. Sell only items will automatically be sold to Shil Shil, the no pawn trader. The no pawn trader. I need to check that pronunciation. As you acquire them, if you can't carry any more money, they'll simply disappear. No pawn coins can be traded for items at no pawn coin exchanges. They can also be used for collectopedia requests, cooking, gem crafting, and leveling up classes. Moonstone, Moonstone, Twin Generators, Cluster L, Dark Grape, like Soy, Twin Generators, Dark Grape, J Lobster, Tasty Sausage, Cluster L, Ink Mollusk, Tasty Sausage. Yeah. Uh, we could do with some food. So, rest to progress main story. We use our. Bonus experience. Uh, 
I'm not entirely sure how to gain bonus experience, it just kind of happens. I definitely feel stronger. Ugh. <laughs> Love these little scenes. <laughs> That was cute. There we go. Nice and clean. I don't know if cleaning clothes has like an actual effect other than just having clean clothes. Let's bounce. Um, but let's go check out uh Shell Shell here. There's so much choice. So what do we got here? Well, we don't have a whole lot. So, increase fire recovery by 5, ether defense by 5, boost aggro reduction by 50%. Mm. I'll grab those. Probably some of those boost amount of HP heal by using healing arts. Boost aggro reduction by 5 when targeted by an enemy. Actually, that might be more useful than, a, than the bunnet choker. Uh, reduce aggro generated from healing arts 50%. It accrues aggro every second, that's good for our tanks. Uh, it occurs 40% of recharge for own arts upon refining in the house. I don't want to buy too much. I think that's, that'll do it for. Also, I think that uh, increased our affinity with uh, Shell Shell's Garavan. Uh... So, our ERs. I think I'm going to give. You. This. And I'm gonna give you. Actually, no, I'm gonna. You keep. You keep on with that. I'll have more use for that other stuff that I bought when I hit level 30. And I'm actually able to equip two things. Anyway, let's rest up. Let's make the most of our break, guys. It's good to keep a record. No, no, no! More to the right! Right there! Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Stand around here, finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure, as long as the output's stable. Yes, sir! What's up with the K rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A Queen's Oath, this pisses me off. We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For 10 rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, 
You really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Uh, hey! What now? My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! Uh, we would never... Our apologies, uh, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had no intention of... You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Uh... Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! I don't see what's wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please, not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. insufferably dusty around here. Clearly, the place befits its dirt rank status. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Oh, forget it. So, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. something to take up with the castle. Alpharonis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis. Both. 
I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Looking at something? Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war, watching for info updates. Silly. I don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Oh. What is it? An icon just popped up over your head. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I can see an icon for you as well. When did we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? Uh. I guess there must still be more to this feature. Excuse me, what? Hey, that's Mimi's. What in the blazes? I've never used this kind of blade before, but all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. weird not like we suddenly just gained the knowledge out of the blue but as if it were always ingrained deep within us strange oh doesn't look like i can get mimi's gear now that's a shame hmm this it <gasps> how come i got moody guts and not noah's huh <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Whoa! You can lug this thing about without a power frame. Not bad. Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? If it gives us more options in battle, yeah, I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? Perfect. We can test them out on the road. Changing classes. Go to character's class to change the character's class. Make sense? Every character has its course and characteristics, so be sure to play around with as many as you can. Upon winning a battle, you will receive class points that will increase your class rank. The quickest way to increase class rank is to continually use one class. Master Art Settings Go to Character's Arts in the main menu to set up a character's Master Arts. By raising the rank of a character's class, you can eventually master that class Arts. If you switch to another class, you can set those arts into Master Arts sub-slots. The number of, of available sub-slots will increase as your character is gaining levels. Also note that Kavisi classes can only set uh, Agnian class arts as Master Arts, and vice versa. As your class rank rises, you'll start to gain mastery of the skills it wields. Mastered skills can be used independent of class. You can set skills mastered on other classes from the main menu, Characters, Skills. As you raise your level, you'll be able to set more, ma uh, more master skills up to a maximum of three. 
So that's kind of rad. Bring some to class. Find all the Zephyr class. Let's change Mia to Sword Cut. Change Yumi's class to Tactician. You're gonna make me go through all of them, okay. Now that Noah's class has been switched to Zephyr, let's set up his master of this. The first select Noah. Master of will set up in the arts menu. Set a master. The left of the regular art slots are the master art sub slots. Mastering an art with another class and sitting here will allow you to use it while playing as another class. And once again, you gotta make me go through every single game. I don't like this part of how the game works. I think you can turn it off. I also don't necessarily want to... Uh, this one's taking a friggin' while though. And then... Like, show me how it works, and then let me play with it. Like, don't make me go through every single one of these six characters. You'll not be able to change classes or, ma or edit master arts for a time. These options will become unlocked again after you progress in the main store. So now, now that we're changed class, up yours, I guess. Well, I guess I need to probably review these, unless I don't. Now, apparently these are still fine. Alright, well, anyway, I said that I was gonna play as Mio for a little while, and now that she's, uh, now that she's DPS, I am a lot more okay with that. Um, that line is a little too close to that, uh, to that waterfall. Let's go over here. Here's a goodie. You're dealing with me. This will keep me going. So how do you use my master words? Okay. I'm not sure if I was that clear with how that works. Oh, it is, uh, there we go. Okay, because, because it's an Agnian art, I have to, it, it will recharge from auto attacks, whereas Kalesi art will charge from, um, just over time. Hey, buddy. Go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Cry, yeah. 
Oh, hi. Okay, so it looks like I can cancel um, I can cancel an auto attack into a master or into a regular. So I can do it like this. Or maybe not. Maybe it's the other way around. I thought I could cancel into between art types. Ow. Take a lot for our butt. There it is. Question mark over there. Uh, which button is map? Wait, there's a quest over there. I missed it. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back and check on that. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Jill shall have a quest. What should we get? Not you. Talk, Jill shall. Go. Hello, customer. Can Jill shall request favor in return for a handsome reward? What kind of favor? It's not big favor. Jill Shill only making register of friends. What is that one? Caravan of Jill Shill. Not only nope and not only not on ca caravan and world, you know. Jill Shill have many compatriots in many places. Jill Shill now trying to uh, to make formal register of said chums. You know, traveler, just do it yourself as you go along, in it. Well, she'll, she'll want very much to do this, but currently waiting for teacher. So she'll, she'll stuck here. Favor is this, if you choose to accept. Talk to not on merchants like she'll, she'll when you see them. We can do that. She'll, she'll know friends have what it takes. It's a bit weird to ask people you barely know to do this, but whatever. There are 19 caravan in all. Well, that's loads. But there are so many Napon who cooperate like Shil Shil and Mimu who will not be problem. Talk to Napon about requests and friends get stoned like this. Come back when all are collected. And let a yellow stone. Not only yellow, but red and blue too. Shil Shil want you to collect all. I believe they call this Mish Thank you for kindness. Are you really helping Napon in need? Alright, we accept. Just as long as you're not in any kind of hurry. Right, you can certainly keep an eye out. Yeah, so there's there. Cool. Alright. So basically, we now have a quest that's probably going to take like 
most of the game to complete. There always seems to be at least one of these in like most um like modern RPGs. There's a level 12 unique. Work. Indiscreet Gumbaba. It's time to make a stand. Here we go, our first unique. Let's go. Even give us a gives us a timer. Kind of leads me to believe that uh, there is a reward for uh, for doing these fast enough. Ow. Great. There we go. That's how you're supposed to use Overclock Buster. Hey, yeah, I was like, like. I, like I was saying before, like I was worried about how how much they had simplified the game, but now we're getting to this point. It's like, oh wait, there is a bunch of stuff that we can do, actually. Actually, I hit uh, I hit the overclock buster a little too late there. He wasn't in days anymore. Ow. And this guy is no joke. Hines is almost dead. Well, not dead, but you know, dead. Man. We got break. Sun is down. Lands is down, sounds back up. Uh, 
I wonder how many reses we have in the fight. Refighting unique monsters. Once you have defeated a unique monster, they will leave behind a grave. Check the grave with A and you'll be able to fight the monster again. Y'all keep complaining about how easy these are. Now you're complaining about how, how hard that was. So it's probably gonna show like my best time. Yeah, difficulty normal, best time 346. And we're not we're not gonna worry about that for right now. What unique over there? Level 14, no thanks. That one was level 12. And uh damn near flattened us. Really, guys? Really? We just... We just dealt with a unique. And you're super intent on trying out our new abilities on these critters specifically. Alright. You know what? Y'all do you. Fusion Arts. Fusion Arts let you use a class art with its paired Master Arts effects when both are recharged. Pull ZR and press a class art button to do the to use the fusion art. Using fusion arts allows you to chain cancel multiple art attacks together. Arts into fusion arts, fusion arts into arts, and fusion arts into other fusion arts. Yeah, I noticed uh, I noticed some sparking going on. I wasn't really super sure of what was going on there. I figured that it had something to do with using both together. This probably would have helped in that uh, unique fight, actually. Little more. Zeta. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, that was kind of cool. I felt a lot more nimble there, like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? The gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. So logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. Earn enough class points through battle, and, and the class's rank will increase. You can also obtain class ranks by spending not on coins. Each class comes with one art mastered from the start. But to master the other arts, skills, talent, arts, and etc., you'll need to raise the class rank sufficiently. Class ranks are normally capped at rank 10, but by completing certain quests, you can unlock the ability to increase the rank beyond that. Fostering classes. If you go into character's class and press ZR, you can see detailed info on the selected class, including the arts and skills you can master by increasing its rank. Classes are graded on a scale of S, A, B, C, D in these areas. Sword for offense, shield for defense, heart for healing, and chess piece for difficulty of player control. Keep it in mind. A character's compatibility... Uh, compatibility... Ah! A character's compatibility with a class is also graded. Using a compar uh, compatible character increases the class more gain, making it, grow making it grow faster. So keep this in mind as well. 
uh, stance type arts. These arts grant a special effect that will, la that will last for a while. You can tell the effect's duration by the ribbons of light around the character. It will continue until the light fades. However, characters can only have one stance at a time, uh, one stance active at a time, so be mindful. If you enter a stance while the last one is still active, its effect will be overwritten by the new one. You can now change, ca uh, you can now change classes and edit master arts again. Be sure to try out all sorts of combinations. Uh, now you say that, but uh, I'm guessing that. Uh, yeah, so we still cannot access most of these classes. So I think what I want to do is I want to have only one tank for most cases. Um, I I want uh, Noah and Neo to have the most diversity, so I'm not going to change Noah back to uh, DPS class. I'm going to change Senna back to Ogre. Oh, okay. I'll take real good care of the bad guys. So, yeah, because the maximum rank right now is 10, I actually don't want to do that. In fights with lots of ads, two tanks would, would be better. Probably, yeah. Um, my thought is, with just the one tank, you also don't have aggro bouncing around. Uh, and considering that um, facing is important for some attacks, um, having aggro bouncing around can affect uh, properly using some attacks. Um, but considering that the maximum rank right now is 10, it is not in my best interest to, tr to change Senna to a DPS class. I just kind of want to. I just kind of want to keep things as they are for now. This Uroboros power. We need to learn how to use it most effectively. Better give it a good once over. Yeah, luring enemies. I guess we're loading the next area or something. Yeah, that's what was happening. Hold it a moment. I have a proposal as to our next route. Okay, shoot. I'll send you the map data. Broadly speaking, it's either east or west. I would suggest we go west. Why is that? The area to the west is under Agnes's control. There is a certain degree of risk, as they'll have deployed a number of units, but it's the quickest way to get south. What about the east route? No man's land. None of the colonies have laid claim to it as of yet. However, we'd suffer a significant time loss. Time versus risk. Wait a sec. We're gonna stir up the Skeeter nest. I only said there was a degree of risk. Really, it's not so bad. But Agnian troops are deployed there, yeah? Yes. And we're still gonna go? All I said is that it would be more efficient. Efficient? Well, maybe we do need to be more efficient. Faster is better. We don't want to be dragging our heels forever, right? Hey, I just have to ask. Are you trying to push some agenda? What? No, certainly not. But you admit the East Route is the safer option. That's just strange. Why wouldn't you pick the safe way? Because time is of the... Look, there you go again. <sighs> That's not all, though. It's all wasteland to the east. The... the heat. 
It'll be unbearable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna melt in the sun. I'm fine with your choice, but we need to think about everyone's safety. Noah, what's your take? Me? Um... I think I'd rather take the safe route. As for the heat, we can probably figure something out. There, four against two. Tyon, Senna. Please. Fine then, if you absolutely insist. Then it's settled. Come on, cheer up, guys. We're out of here. Aegis Wilderness, Orcs region. You know what? I am looking at this place right now, and I'm like, the sun isn't even out here, and I am definitely melting. Have fun with this aggressively British sounding anime JRPG. It, it is voiced largely in the UK, um, but yes, thanks for dropping by, Terry. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? Part of the series identity by now, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I remember watching uh, Sky Bennett, who voiced uh, Pyra and Mithra in um, Xenoblade 2. Uh, she actually went through the game herself on stream. That was kind of nice. Mm. I kind of I want the Nopon coin. Actually, so let's uh, let's defend the little guy here. Uh, it's not six spoils. It's there are six of them. There's six of the small guys, and there's two of the little guys, so it's whichever you're defending, you have to fight that many of the other. That, that was on the side, really? Pretty sure we only got one knock on point out of that. There's no lead up there. We can get these items without this big one aggro. It might not aggro either. Sharp witted trace. Ooh. Good channel. Yes, please.
Ah, nice. We got four out of that. Oh no. Um, guys, get the hell out of here. On the plus side, I noticed this guy over here that we can send off. Can you please? Okay. We have disengaged. Mia, would you do the honors? Everything is like the same color out here. I'm having a hard time finding the uh, the routing line. I forget what the exclamation mark means. Maybe it just means that they that they do nifty things. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Nice little finisher there. <laughs> Let me tell you, this uh, this environment is really helping me feel the heat in uh, in my own apartment. And one second here. Especially considering that it's uh, this is it's midnight twenty one right now, so well, oh, that's on us. Hey, buddy. Well, they were no match for us. 
Right. Let's push on. There is a lot of red over there. What's going on? Shiny. So much to see, huh? I kind of want to address the mass of red over here. That's probably just crap ton of people to send off. Yeah. We can't just leave this be. This calls for both of our off senders. Knuckle Hawks. I still really like how both of those together sound. I know I've said that before, but I still like, really like it. I think I might have messed up that fusion. And uh, Noah's down, that's not great. Tyon is also down. You mean Tyon? Okay, the elite is the elite has been taken care of. Uh yeah, that didn't end up so well. On the plus side, there's a quest over here. Yeah, me too, thanks. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah. It's not water. And I pen and mean moisture. Moisture? So shall we bring some? Anything is fine. So long as it's filled with wet uh, so long as filled with wetness. And upon the dying of dry throat. Okay then. Not sure what this is all about, but let's get the pawn something to what is this. Like. Collapsed traitor pawn. Should we go here first? Um Wait, what's the Quests. Let's activate this one. Okay, so I already have all the stuff I Did friends bring moisturous things for Panapa? Is this what you wanted? Oh, and multiple things will actually do.
And based on the rarity, it fills up the, the, the gauge to multiple levels. There we go, perfect. Ah, I'm about an eternally grateful. Friends are good friends. Don't mention it. I'm just glad you're okay. But what actually happened? Why were y'all passed out like this? Uh, why were y'all passed out in a place like this? It's a story of great length, so Pana Pana choose not to tell it. Fair enough, that's fine by us. It all start with Pana Pana on way to Ferrana Salt on Hillside, where Prentiss wait. Pana Pana fall and belongings smash. Everything except hammer which Pana Pana carry on back get taken and broken by monsters. Pana Pana blood broke. Pana Pana on last legs, walking, walking, and no drop to drink. Oh, so you're all gonna tell us, okay? Shill Shill, apprentice of Pana Pana, must be so looking forward to meeting. Thanks to friends, Pana Pana is saved. We'll rest teensy bit more and then go see Apprentice. Oh, don't overdo it. Rose are dangerous. No worry for Pana Pana. Legs of Pana Pana are very fast for running away. That won't do you much good if you always alter them. Anyway, Pana Pana save now, and Pana Pana pay you back. We have three silver nominal points. Keep this up. And also increased uh. our affinity by one lover. Uh. Uh. Affinity with whoever Spiral is. Here we go, guys. Ooh. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Tyon's uh, getting a bit low. Nice, one up. Ah, messed up the facing. There. Good work. We're just getting warmed up. Is this like a rare thing? So one thing that I do kind of wonder is like. The, like, all of these people are basically, like, created, right? So, why do they all have personalities? Why are they, like, self-aware, to a, at least a, to a certain extent? Get the uh, experience in gold this time. Did you see me in action, Mimi? Sure, I did, Santa. You look great. Another one over there. Here we go. Has this follow suit? Not sure how I feel about this, actually. Oh, 
Oh, it's done, it's done. Aww, and we were just getting started. This is something decent, right? Oh, nice. Also, I wonder what's up with this different terrain. You know, I was walking on it and nothing happened, so... It might just be different terrain. I don't know. A crater here. Ooh, oh, jeez. Hey, guys. Senna's down, Senna's been rezzed. Noah's down. Noah's been rezzed. My attack whiffed because the dude died. Sen has been hit with something, probably some kind of poison. Thanks for dropping my jewel. Time to do the right thing, send eh? this guy out. I guess we're going around here then. They're on us. Orders? You're dealing with me. Thanks. Well, I was gonna fight you anyway. Outside of Nice. 
Alright, let's see if they can get another blockbuster here. Topple. Daze. Boom! There we go. That was not doing so great. There we go. Couple of skill mastered there. Everyone leveled up off of that one. Couple of rank ups too. Beautiful. Alright. Um, let's see how we're doing with class on the box. If I can remember to press the correct buttons. Uh, so it looks like Noah has almost unlocked Heavy Guard. So pretty much uh, by using one class, we quickly gain affinity for the other class that is also the same role. Alright. Um, also, what, uh, what are our ranks so far? So rank 4, 5, 4, 4, 5. don't think I want target lock on. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I can do with, uh, with two characters that can afford days. I think I'm gonna leave things as they are for the moment. Check out this container. What are you hiding, little guy? So pretty much, this wants us to just kind of go over there, but I want to go check out, go check out what's up here. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. All the doodah day. Let's go see what is up here.
Level 15. Alright, not too, too worried. Bit of a big guy, but uh, similar level. Great. Bravo. Days. There we go. That's how you do that. Aha! Soldier's husk. Mimi, could you... Well, someone is happy I did that. Even if that someone is not particularly happy with me specifically right now. I'll get that side break off here. There we go. Don't know that we can get over there from here. Oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. Thank you for pointing that out. Together now, Mimi. I'll drag you along myself if I have to. I mean, I get that it's hot, but really? Whether we're talking food or weather, Mio does not take to heat. I knew this would happen. Heat's never bothered you, has it, Lance? Nope. I'm made of sterner stuff. <laughs> Poor Mio. Honestly. I'm starting to feel a little worn out. A spot to rest would be nice about now. Hey, look! There! Mimi, look! It's water! There's an oasis! Wa water Yeah, water! Water! Come on, let's go! Yeah! Well, that perked her right up. Oh, come on. Talk about overreacting. We should be thankful they're back in high spirits. Let's just hope it's not a mirage.
Oh, let's go ahead and head for that oasis. Big old dude over there. Look at that. Mia, you all right? Uh, I just got a glimpse of hope. Oh, we got two of them. Like one thing that I notice about the music in this game, like there are a fair few songs, this one included, where you have uh, basically oh nice, everyone just acquired a class there. But you have a fair few songs where you have like two flutes that are. Uh, Kind of playing in unison, and I think that's kind of just the the two uh, the idea of the two off senders having different songs that play to the same rhythm, and that can absolutely be played together. So pretty much I got the other So as DPS I got the other DPS. As healer I got the other healer. So I think for now I am not gonna bother. I'm gonna hold out until we get a few more class options here. Keep it together. Just let me dive in. I've been craving some downtime. Clean your body, clean your mind, I guess. I can press uh, plus to level up all. Oh, well, that's convenient. I, I didn't notice that before. Clock. 
Why would you thank the clock? You're no longer right, uh, bound My to the turn. clock. You too. Don't happen every day. Yeah! Wow! Oh dear. Wow! I think they're dead, guys. Soaking wet anyway. What difference does it make? The difference is you're an asshole. Got snuffing difference. Oh, I've got war in my ears now. <laughs> Staying here, are you? I've got something to take care of. I'll send it to you now. A map from the survey branch. Annihilation events occur frequently here. Annihilation events? You mean? Ah. Uh... Look. It happens oh. here too. Yeah, I've noticed some craters around. Given our route, we should take the safest way possible. Very cautious of you. It's my duty to be. Thank you. Uh, sure. There we go. Right. How are you feeling? Right? It's like cooled off in the lake. Glad to hear it. Oh, what could Pachong an appetite with all, with all that moving about? I'm sure, we still have some rations left. Perhaps enough for you rested. This is turning into quite the leisurely pleasure cruise, isn't it? Hey, man. I seem to remember you... I, Seem to remember you agreeing to have a rest of the oasis too. Sure, I just I judge it necessary to take a short break and check it out. Taeon, come on, take a dip. Pull off that overheated cranium, cranium of yours. I don't think so. Even in a highly open desert locale with good satellites like this, we must maintain a look at it all time. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, I can go on because of you. In fact, you've helped me out a lot of times since we joined forces on you. Yeah, dude. If it wasn't for you, I, I, I don't know if I'd still be here in one piece. Well, that's what I'm here for. To determine the best course of action, tactically and strate uh, strategically. Hey, Tyler. You, you think you could tell us the way out of this desert, then? Natural. The further south into the Ruby Flats. Sounds like another massive pike on foot. Got so much walking uh, through the wilds ahead of us. Why don't we hit camp here for the day? We we'll probably deal with topping up the water supplies too, I reckon. Not a terrible life. However, Taeon, we've been hiking through a wasteland for a while. You need to rest, same as the rest, the same as the rest of us. Didn't you admit as much? Didn't you admit as much just now? What's more, I'm starving too. Ha <laughs> ha! girl. My nana tell me hear someone talking about food. Riku, Nana, where'd you get to? One told me to search for tasty treats. Since we now have less oasis. Morsels even tastier than pack rations can be had. Tickle of taste buds make chuckle in heart and soul. Good for morale, good for mood. So Manana will keep ice to ground in search of ever tastier treats. 
They gotta be cooking something up for us, huh? Correct, much the. And that is a total diva when it comes to, cu to cuisine. I can confirm. But... That cuisine take two hours to make. And meanwhile, please endure hunger with patience while, like well-behaved soldiers. What the Spock? Two hours? Nothing's worth that kind of weight. Come on, all you need to do is check a few ingredients in a pot. Is there really that much to it? Meh. Such unkind and true word, untrue words. Friends think food is nothing more than fuel for furless meat sacks. Such rotten attitude. Banana can offer, banana can offer incredible, incredible tasty cuisine. Let's simply chuck stuff in pot and deliver unceremoniously into mouth hole. Banana, would you like to help the, would you like us to help you out with cooking? Then maybe we could get uh, to our mouth holes a bit faster. Meh meh, acceptable. But if friends want to help Manana in cooking duties, a certain boundary must be set. Tasting is 100% purview of Manana. So we have uh, a taken on a quest of Riku and Manana. Or. Yeah, we... Okay, so cooking is an actual thing. Eating Menanda's meals at a rest spot will temporarily increase the XP, uh, experience and rewards received from winning battles. Some rest, spots are, some rest spots are canteens where you can order food. Doing so will help Menanda come up with new recipes that will offer new status effects, so get over it. So I guess we can end off the stream by doing this. Banana's battle soup, eh? Sounds yum. Cook, you can use the items you have gathered to cook delicious meals. Meals you can make are listed here with the required ingredients on the right. Select Banana's battle soup. Um... There we go. So experience and class point boost up 5%. I wonder how long that lasts. I'm stuffed. It's been a while since I picked out what I thought. Thanks for the feast. You really outdid yourself, Manana. Whoa, they can create such stellar meals here in the wilderness. Banana Blush. She went out on the battlefield for us, cooking for the soldiers. She carried that into battle. I think she wants to do all she could for the troops' morale, especially on the front where it's so easy to feel doubt or anxiety. Oh, imagine that. But Manana also enjoyed travel with me and friends. Could not have discovered such amazeful ingredients under otherwise. New dishes and ingredients, repertoire of Manana go through roof. By the by, what do Riku do on teams of no on team of Noah and friends? Riku provides support across board. In other words, do everything. Biggest talent lie in maintain a power frame, also gem crap. Pretty spectacular in your own right. Now we can no longer rely on our colonies for supplies and, and improvements. He should indeed be an indispensable asset. Friends want to see Master Trick of Riku? Yeah, totally. Show us. At this very moment. Riku cannot. Okay. What? Hey, you can't just pull the rug uh, pull the rug from under our feet like that. Riku just not able to do it on sudden command. To make gems require gathering of suitable materials first. Hey Riku. 
Up until now, we've just relied on you for all the repairs and maintenance. Thinking about the road ahead, I wonder if it wouldn't be better to learn to tweak our blades ourselves. Yeah, that. Meh. Yeah. This is not a thing that can be learned by ju just by snapping fingers. It's possible, though, I'd like to learn too. And me as well. Meh. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll show way of gem crafting to friends, a special exception. First, have to collect materials, like said. Riku noticed Aspar during earlier jump through Rekhoff Wolfsburg. We'll need glaring eyeball from that. Bananas cooking can temporarily improve the party's experience in G gain, and gathering efficiency, etc. I've been feeling really pumped for the past while. Oh, that's good. It must be thanks to Manana's cooking. I always knew it was something special. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? We just ate. Anyway. Um so we're gonna learn how to gem craft. We have to keep track of our progress. Pretty soon, but Where to from here? At this point it is gonna be time to call it a stream. As soon as we get back to the test. Alright, so that is gonna do it for today. I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you to Jewel, Tyrion, and Zinfandel for hanging out. The next scheduled stream would normally be on Sunday, but as I mentioned before, um, on Sunday is going to... Uh, I'm going to be on the Arcade Pit over at twitch.tv slash smite along with Zinfandel ZT. Um, so that should be a fun experience. Um, I will be hosting that uh, channel uh, over here, uh, if you uh, forget where that is. So you can tune in here at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, or tune in over at Smite's channel on Smile TV at that time, and um, see how well I can do. Uh, teamed up with um, good old Zenf. So, as a result, the next scheduled stream that is going to be taking place is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is our regular long-run stream where we're going to be continuing our run of AI, the Somnium Files, and uh, all of the crazy um, timeline shenaniganry that uh, is going to be taking place there. The next stream after that is going to be on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream where I'm going to be continuing work on bumper stickers and hacks flixel. Uh, I did end up taking uh, this past week off uh, for kind of hacks language studies. Um, so I might uh, give you all a look at what I've been working on uh, with that as well. Because that could come into play with uh, some improvements that I want to make to the stream. So stick around for that. And that takes us around the week, round the wheel to our next uh, extra long run stream. Where we're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And um, see if we can get to uh, that sword spot in the south and see what lies over yonder. Um, I might have an extra stream on Wednesday night. Maybe, maybe not, because normally uh, my buddy J-Pop for Life would be streaming. He is taking the entire week off, so uh, I might do a substitute stream. And I don't know what I would be playing, but uh, probably just some random stuff from um, from my uh, Steam library. So tune in for that if you're interested. 
I have an idea of what I could play, so yeah, tune in for that. If uh, if that ends up happening, that would be like Wednesday at like 10 p.m. on landing daylight time, if it happens. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.